Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. Um, before we get started really quickly, sorry that this took forever to come out. I got pretty sick after the holiday guys, so I'm just now feeling in the mood to actually record for YouTube. So we're back. Um, and you know, all the jewelry that I'm wearing, my Radiant Hamza um, cuff bracelet, my turquoise chakra bracelet, my iced out evil eye Hamza hand necklace, my dainty um, zodiac necklaces. I'm wearing the one in Saggy because it's Saggy season, of course. And also my candles. I'm burning one right now. Um, this one is one that's not released yet, okay? But I'll show you guys a little sneak peek, okay? <laughs> Anyway, all my um, crystal candles, my jewelry is on my website. You can click the first link in the description box to shop my store if you're interested, okay? All right, guys, we're going to get started. So let's get some advice for my scorpions for the next 48 hours. Give me some advice for my scorpions for the next 48 hours. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio. Give me some advice for my Scorpios, okay? Should I take one more? Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see. Don't involve yourself with whack-ish, okay? Some of you guys have Libra in your chart. You may want to go watch the Libra reading. That came out in Libra's reading. You could be dealing with the Libra, okay? This one says, self-care isn't selfish, okay? Hmm. All right, so it's time to indulge in some more self-care. Even if you're a masculine, go get that haircut. Go get your eyebrows groomed. <laughs> go get a massage. Go to the spa. Do something, you know? It's self-care isn't selfish, okay? So you haven't been taking care of yourself you've been kind of putting yourself last scorpio so spirit's calling for you to do a pamper day okay it doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine my nose will run because like i said i'm i'm been sick okay all right so let's see what's going on with my scorpios spirit what's going on with my scorpios for the next 40 hours what's their energy what's going on with my scorpios for the next 40 hours what's their energy give me some cards please the lovers okay Huh. Okay. It's like the lovers flipped out, but then it flipped over like you were hiding this. So some of you guys are like secretly falling for someone or you have to make a decision, but you're shying away from making that decision. Okay. What else is here for my Scorpios? Okay. The five of cups. Okay. So you have to make a decision about something that's really going to hurt you or that you're going to regret. Or you regret something with someone that you love, like doing something. Maybe you you made a mistake or you feel embarrassed by like a conversation that you had with someone. Okay, what else is here? Nine of Wands, okay? But you also have your guard up against this person too. So whoever this person is, you're in separation with, from them. The Four of Swords. And you have your guard up towards them, but it's like you secretly miss this person or you secretly still care, but you, and you could have regrets or you feel sad about the situation. If the situation is at a halt right now, you feel sad about it, but you're also not going to show that you feel sad about it. You're going to like, maybe this person did you wrong. So you're like, okay, I have to stand my ground, the nine of wands. But at the same time, you still do feel sad. Okay. I'm seeing that. That's the five of cups here. So let's clarify this for you. Let's clarify this for my Scorpios. Okay, let's see. All right, clarify the lovers, please. Clarify the lovers for my Scorpios. Clarify the lovers. The magician, okay? So I feel like what sucks about this is that you and this person came to a halt and you felt like you guys were developing some kind of relationship, okay? Or just the connection was just getting stronger. So things could have came to a halt or ended when you felt like you were really getting to know someone or getting to know the best parts of them or you just were falling, okay? The magician, what else? Yeah, the 10 of pentacles, okay? So you were ready to invest or give it all to this person, okay? You were ready to give it all to them, okay? So what happened, okay? Clarify the 10 of pentacles, please. You're ready to make a family with them. Yeah, the judgment card is here. Hmm. So you feel like, okay, you were ready to give it all to this person, but you poorly judged them. This could mean that maybe, hmm, it depends who's who's at fault here, right? And it's really a bias of whoever's watching, okay? But for example, if you're at fault, maybe you misjudged somebody and you did something that you now regret and you wish that you would have just 
went with your heart instead of your mind. If someone did you wrong, Scorpio, it's like you feel stupid for wanting to give your all to this person. The judgment card, okay? What's the magician? What's the magician? Queen of Cups. Yeah, and it really has you in your feelings about this. Like you really, you had good intentions with this person. No matter what happened, you, your intentions are really pure with this person. But it looks like things just ended. So let's talk about it. Okay, so what's the Five of Cups, please? What's the Five of Cups? Five of Cups, please. Some of you guys really need to go get a massage because like my shoulders are hurting me out of nowhere. And I feel like some of you guys just really need to like um, go get a massage, okay? Um, maybe you're very tense. Okay, the King of Pentacles came out. Interesting, huh? You really were trying to get to this person, Scorpio. And you regret that. So you could have did some really nice things for this person. You regret it, okay? You're like, yeah, I should never have been so nice to this person. What's the King of Pentacles? Whoa, what's the King of Pentacles? Okay, the Two of Swords. You just feel like, dumb decision. Why did I do that? Or I should have thought this through. Now you're not speaking to this person, okay? So it's kind of like you do things out of the kindness of your heart, okay? Okay. You do things out of the um, kindness of your heart, but now that you and this person aren't off, you feel like, oh, I should have never did that. You shouldn't feel that way because literally, you know, when you do things out the niceness of your heart, even if the person doesn't show appreciation or gratitude towards you, spirit will show that to you, okay? Also, it's like you could not be talking to a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, maybe. Maybe this is a man who's well off and you're just so upset that you even gave this person the time of day. But if this is you coming off as the King of Pentacles, you really gave your all to this person. You're like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. You're really nice to this person. Okay, the King of Wands could be done with the Aries Leo Sag. Hmm. Some of you guys are in same-sex relationships or some of you guys found out about a same-sex relationship with someone or you suspected that someone was into the same gender. If that's your story, then it is. If it's not, then it's not. What's the um, King of Wands? Or it's two masculine figures in a relationship. So it could be a male and a female, but they were both very masculine. Okay, so what's the King of Wands, please? The Nine of Pentacles, okay? So whoever this fire sign is, they just really wanted to be single. While you were trying to commit or be wholehearted with this person, they were trying to be single or vice versa. This person will hold back from you, Okay. And it really puts you in a, a bad position. The Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. Like, you already developed feelings for this person, but you start not to like them towards the end. All right, let's move forward. What's the Nine of Wands, please? What's the Nine of Wands? So, I don't... This is supposed to be your next 48. So, this could be how you're going to be in the next 48 hours. You're going to be thinking about this. But I also feel like this already happened for you. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because you will end up speaking to this person soon. Okay, so what's the Nine of Wands? What's the nine of wands for my Scorpios? Yep, what did I say? Okay, we have the six of cups, three of cups right here. So you will end up speaking to this person again, but you are going to play hard to get. Nine of wands, okay. Let's see why. What's the three of cups? All right, so they want to heal things with you or this is you. You want to heal things with them? What's the six of cups, please? All right, the seven of pentacles. Somebody wants to invest in this again or put work into this again. And this is going to be coming towards you. Okay? But I don't know. I see you really fighting this person off. Or you're like in the Four of Cups energy, Nine of Wands energy. So it's like you're going to make play really hard to get with this person. Or they're going to have to... Like your first initial reaction is going to be like no or reject them. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's get your last words here. Let's get the last words for you. All right, give me some last words for my Scorpios, please. Give me some last words for my Scorpios, please. Cutting the deck. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You can have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, you make me sad is also here, okay? All right. Anyway. Last words, please. Last words. Last words for Scorpio. Last words for Scorpio, please. Okay, okay. 
I like you, but not in love, but it's in reverse. So someone could have told you this or you told someone this. Okay, whoever said this to someone or acted this way, it's like now they're starting to feel like they have, they develop more feelings than they initially had for someone, okay? I never met anyone like you. We also have this, no one compares to you. So you are one of a kind to, towards this person or to this person, or you feel this way about them. I'm telling the truth, okay? So this is in your energy, Scorpio. So, you know, if someone was accusing you of being a liar, you were telling them the truth, or you were, like I said, you had a very genuine energy towards this person, okay? Car secrets, okay? Someone, some, Something happened in the car, it was a secret, someone found out something about someone's car, who's been in their car, etc. okay? Under the bed, you could have found something under the bed, okay? So there's definitely some weird things happening in this dynamic. Marijuana is here, okay? Someone could smoke a lot of weed, you could be smoking a lot of weed right now. Sexy haircut, haircut slash hairstyle, okay? This could be part of your self-care routine. You like to get your hair cut or you like to get you get a lot of different hairstyles done. You could have a new hairstyle. Someone's really taking notice of that. Okay, what else is here? June, Gemini, or a Cancer you could have been dealing with. You could have, um, something significant could have happened in June between you and this person. I want you is here, okay? We also have July, Cancer, or a Leo could be dealing with. Something significant, significant could have happened in July. We also have Spoiled Brat, okay? All right, I don't know who was a spoiled brat, but somebody definitely was, okay? <laughs> All right, let's get into your homeboy, homegirl now. Sir, give me some messages, please, for Scorpio's homeboy, homegirl. Give me some messages, please, for Scorpio's homeboy, homegirl. For the next 48 hours, the strength card, queen of swords, and what else? The sun card, okay? Bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles. Sorry, guys, my nose is, like, running a little bit. Okay. Could be doing with the Leo. You have double Leo energy here, strength and sun. Could be doing with the Libra or an Aquarius, even a Gemini here. Okay. So whoever your person is, remember I said there could be two masculines in a, in a relationship or a situation? It's like someone's in there cold energy like they're very much in their head right now they're kind of cold towards you but they're more so in a feminine way what i mean by that how can i say this without offending people okay you have the king of swords you have the queen of swords queen of swords is usually like someone who acts like a a b-i-t-c-h okay let's just call it what it is okay so somebody could be in that energy even if they're a masculine they're in that bitchy energy um Someone's definitely smoking a lot, too, with the sun card getting high a lot, okay? And they're also holding back, which could be a good thing because I feel like someone has a tendency to lose their temper with the strength card, okay? Let's clarify this. This is a strength card, please. All right, a strength card. What is this? The Six of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. So this person's holding back that they want to work on things again. They want to return. Six of Cups is here as well. So this is what they're holding back from doing. They're holding back from speaking to you. They also feel like you could go off on them. So I don't know who's the one who's um usually goes off. It could be both of you guys. But it looks like someone's scared that you may go off on them. That's why they don't even want to bring up that they want a second chance. Or they want to come back. What's this? What's this um, Six of Swords, please? What's the Six of Swords? Yeah, seven of wands. Somebody's afraid to be rejected or that you're going to turn up on them, okay? <laughs> yeah. Someone's afraid that you're going to turn the fuck up on them. Okay, what's the, <laughs> what's the seven of pentacles? Whoa, okay. Star card is here. What else? Huh. Interesting. That star card, okay? You know the star card. It's like you get the water from the river, you pour it out, whatever. It's like um, it's replenishing energy. It's like I always think of like um, an ecosystem when I think about the star card. Every thing in the ecosystem has its duty to give back to the ecosystem so that the ecosystem gives back to them. Okay, this is not a science lesson, but it's kind of like someone feels like you did do a lot for them, okay? Because what's on the bottom of the deck here? 
the moon card. Hmm. And the eight of wands. Okay, so someone definitely wants to speak to you. But they're keeping it on hush mode right now. But if someone feels like you did do a lot for them in the past, they want to give back to you now. The star card, they want to replenish you. Okay, whatever. Um, but they do feel like you're going to hold out on them, the nine of wands. So they know that you're in this nine of wands energy, hold it, standing your ground, um, having a grudge, having a wall up against them. They also feel like you're happier alone. Nine of cups. Somebody also wants to serve you. I don't know what this means. This is just a weird reading. This is a weird reading. Okay, so you did a lot for someone, Scorpio. Now they want to give it back to you. But um, hold on. Let me turn this light off because it's like blinking a lot. They want to give back to you, but they're even willing to like serve you. I don't know what that means, okay? I don't know. I don't guys i still feel sick i I'm, these readings will be a little rushed so i'm sorry about that all right what's the queen of swords please what's the queen of swords the queen of swords is a three of wands so you're going to get communication from this person they're hoping that you're um, accepting their calls so someone could literally be blocked so if you do want communication from this person you might just want to unblock them but if you don't want to just know they're going to try to reach out to you but they could also be blocked what else is here the empress okay somebody literally wants to serve you i don't know what that means okay take it how you want to take it i'm not even about to get into that page of wands in reverse looks like the the, the message doesn't go through so someone's blocked so they're gonna reach out and say something really nice towards you but they're blocked so they you won't even see the message or for some reason the message is not going to come through okay why the page of wands in reverse the hangman like someone's blocked hangman six of cups it's either someone's blocked or someone's like someone like i don't know what this is like the universe is gonna stop this message from coming through yeah the devil is here so maybe it's just not meant to be sent or you and this person are not meant to be back together i don't know what's the three of wands page of swords okay so it looks like if the message doesn't go through somebody will keep tabs on you this could have already happened because i don't know why i'm speaking about this like as if it's in the past and it's supposed to be the next 48 so if somebody tried to reach out to you prior to you watching this video they were blocked they they couldn't get the communication over now in this current energy they're watching you page of swords they're keeping tabs on you just to see where your head's at okay and they still have this energy of wanting to work things out with you Sun card, please. <laughs> What's the sun card? Give me the sun card. All right, the strength card is here. So definitely Leo vibes. All right, so somebody gets high to pass the time. You know that song where it's like, it's like, I gotta stay high all the time to keep you off my mind. Ooh. I feel like somebody is doing that, okay? Yeah, like, <laughs> literally the sun card, the strength card, the will of fortune. Like, it's getting high or doing little things to keep themselves up or happy or high to pass the time. Will of fortune, okay? Because when they're not doing these things to distract themselves, they're thinking about you and them. Two of wands. Okay. Clarify this two of wands. The moon card, deep emotions, okay? This person gets really stuck in their emotions. Even if they like to drink and your person's a drinker, it's like they drink and they're like happy, but then once they get a little too drunk, then they start getting in their deep emotions. They could even cry over this. It makes them just want to reach out to you, but they take their time. Okay, guys, <sighs> I don't know. Let's get their last words. I'm gonna take this to the extended. And extend, I'm going to go deeper in this message for sure because I'm a little confused as of now. I'm going to go deeper into the message and then we're going to also see what they feel about you at this time, what their next actions will be and what the outcome will be between you guys, okay? All right, so let's see. Give me their last words, Spirit. Give me the last words of Scorpio's homeboy, homegirl. Last words for Scorpio's homeboy, homegirl, please. Oh, God, that's a lot of messages. All right, I'll keep them out. I'm just going to pull one more because I just dropped a whole bunch of cards. Okay, 
Bottom of the deck says, I want a family with you. Okay. Interesting. We also have great chemistry here between you and this person. We have, you left something behind. So there's unfinished business between you and this person for sure. You could have left something at their house or they left something at your house. Fake persona. So somebody knows that you're putting up a front that you don't want them back, but they're too scared to act on that or they're putting up a front, okay? Um, Virgo to magician. So somebody is trying to m manifest you back. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Something could have happened between you and this person during Virgo season. Juggling partners. This person definitely was a two-timer. What else is here? Pushing you away. They feel like you're pushing them away. Celebrity status, okay? Are you dealing with a celebrity? <laughs> okay. Does someone act like they're a celebrity and they're not? I don't know. Um, I don't like your friends slash family. We have blocked. I knew this, okay? I knew somebody was blocked. I got the energy so strong. Cold hearted. Yeah, you cold, Scorpio. You cold. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. If you um, want to shop my store, first link in the description box. If you want to book a personal reading with me, I am going to be um, MIA from doing personal readings from the 11th to the 14th. So I'll be closing out my personals during that time. So you want to make sure you snag a spot before um, I close off those readings, just in case you need one. But those links will be in the description box down below. If you want to follow me to the extended reading, um, we're going to get into these messages deeper and see the outcome and everything. That link will be in the description box as well. I love you guys so much, Scorpio, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.